inspired uh, to pursue engineering my father was an engineer and his vision for me was to become a telecom engineer like him uh, when i was in high school uh, they installed the first computer lab and i was hooked from day one uh, i knew then that i wanted to pursue computer science and engineering and until now i am in love with the subject uh, in terms of challenges uh there are some challenges that women uh, face especially around life events managing motherhood managing relocations uh those are some challenges that I have faced uh, the way i navigated those was one i uh, used those breaks to upskill myself two i uh, worked with my employers to get some flexibility in uh, hours So, for example, instead of being a full-time employee for a couple of years, I chose to be a contractor. So I was able to do fewer hours at work and yet stay on the job. And obviously, uh, lean on your partner, lean on your family to provide the kind of support you need. The second challenge which I have faced once in a while, I would say not throughout this, uh, how sometimes when we try to be assertive, uh, we are seen as aggressive. and sometimes how we are not seen as assertive or assertive enough uh that's been an interesting one the way i have uh, found how to navigate that is really um uh, focus on both verbal and non verbal communications uh focus on rapport building and uh being more proactive about sharing my thoughts and what i can do for the organization We have definitely come a long way in the past two and a half decades. I can see that. Uh, that said, there are still a lot of things that we need to do. Um, I would say start with hiring. As organizations, when we hire, let's go out and explore uh, how to find the best candidates, both male and female. Uh, so hiring is definitely the beginning. Secondly, I think offer the right amount of flexibility based on circumstances. For example, if you have a woman engineer who has a little child, try to see how you can help her navigate that by offering flexible work hours. Uh, thirdly, offer that flexibility to your male employees also, right? So we normalize child care, and uh, you know nobody should feel embarrassed about coming to their managers and having to ask for that, right? So so measure measure people's productivity. based on their outcomes and not necessarily on the number of hours they put in physically at the workplace and offer them the tools to be able to do that thirdly i would say um, also right uh, be very gender agnostic in everything that you do uh, look at somebody's skill set uh, look at what they bring to the table and we are all engineers first and women and men later when it comes to the workplace So if we all approach uh, this problem in that way, I think you know things can definitely. Help. That includes training, training your leaders, especially in how to build an inclusive and diverse workforce. Reinforcing that message over and over again would help.